My name is uh, Moritz Deisner and I am a technical director at Turbine Kreuzberg. What is trunk-based development in a nutshell? Trunk-based development in a nutshell means that you are developing in a flow together. You are not constantly interrupted uh, because you're required to review other people's code. What you get is not to do any code reviews of feature branches anymore. You deliver your features in small increments. The whole team works together. You always at least pair or mob. You do that interdisciplinary with front end and back end together. And you start always with a test. So you go, you write a test, you do the implementation. You grow your features. What are some best practices for teams making the switch? So if you want to also get in the game of trunk-based development, there is a few prerequisites that actually make our trunk-based development. And that is pair programming. You need to have that as a default. It needs to be the common sense in your team. And the next thing is that your developers are capable of developing the features in small increments. They need to be able to break down the functionality and grow it together. Another key aspect requirement of this is test-driven development. So you always have the test coverage and the code is being driven by tests, thus the quality is as good as it can get. What are the core benefits of trunk-based development? So the general benefit with trunk-based development is that you actually work as a team. As opposed to feature branching, where every developer of that team works in isolation, you actually develop together. You bridge the difference to the front end and the vice versa to the back end, and that makes you really a collaborative team. Everyone knows what's happening in the project as a whole. And as a result of all of that, of this collaborative incremental workflow, you will have all the changes are always tested and you can basically always deploy to the staging and the production system because you know everything's tested. How did Turbina first try out trunk-based development? So we tried trunk-based development with two different teams and uh, in both teams there have, has been a lot of pushback at the beginning but as soon as the team agreed to try it, to give it just a try, they experienced the workflow, the, the flow of developing. When you don't have to do code reviews, you're not interrupted, you don't have the context switches, you just develop together and um, that is just different and it's more fun and it's faster. Okay, that was it. Thanks for watching. And if you really want to work together and you don't want to do code reviews anymore and you want to be a better developer, give a trunk-based development a try in your team. <laughs>